General ladies yielding back now recognize the gentlewoman from the Virgin Islands, Dr. Christensen. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. Um, I have a couple of questions. Let me begin with Ms. Amoroso. Um, you suggest in your testimony that Congress define the roles of the various executive branch agencies in cybersecurity. Where do you see the FCC as an independent agency playing a role? Well, I don't, I mean, I don't think there's an agency right now that's in a good position to come in and solve a problem that we can't solve ourselves. I mean, if, if, if it really was a case where you could write out these five things that we should all be doing, and for whatever reason, negligence, ignorance, whatever, we're not doing it, then you really do need somebody in government to, to shake us, you know, a, into, into action. The problem is that we don't know what it is that you should be telling us we should be doing. That's why we're pointing to innovation as the key. So it's almost kind of a moot question whether it should be DHS or FCC or whomever, because I'm not really sure what they should be telling us. That's the problem. And, um, you know, there are some things that, like I, I sit on CISREC, you know, and I'm part of the team uh, trying to make uh, recommendations. I'm not... You know, I don't want to lead you to believe that we're just kind of punting. It's such a hard problem. We're not trying to reduce the risk. But I would just say from an agency perspective, if there was an obvious set of things that should be done right now, I'm kind of thinking the groups that are here would be doing it. You know, we are incented to do that. That's the problem. So I hope that addresses the question. Okay. Um, yes, thank you for that answer. And uh, Mr. Livingood, um, you mentioned...